Well, hey everybody, this is John Kramer, the host of the At The IP Show on Blog Talk Radio. And uh, for those of you that have hit my blog, you know that I posted up there my review of the Aperture AD12. And this is just a supplemental uh, video part to it um, that I figured I'd go over some of the main components of this scope. Now, uh, as you can tell, this is a big scope here. This is the Aperture AD12. This is a 12 inch F5 sold exclusively by OpticSmart. And I'll go ahead and touch on some of the main stuff here. First, let's go ahead and start off at the top. See this finder scope here? Very nice uh, nine by, I'm sorry, eight by 50 right angle correct image finder. We have this very nice and smooth two inch Crayford fo focuser with a fine tune adjustment here. Uh, I've used that, I've really liked that. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about these altitude bearings here. Uh, some of the best that I've seen. Certainly much better, smoother motion than my uh, Orion. Also too, on the base here you'll notice, see how smooth that is, effortless motion on both axes and that's because it has a bearing uh, in the base as well. It sits on a bearing rather than just friction with the Teflon pads and some traditional Dobsonians. So, fantastic motion. Can't can't speak highly enough of the motion here. And when you want to fine tune the adjustment, you notice here on the altitude bearing, let me get closer here, that it has numbered. Well, this is meant to be adjusted for the weight of your accessories. And you can also tighten it down here even further to give you a pretty good, uh, pretty good amount of uh, locking motion with some of your heavier eyepieces, um, but also, again, permitting very, very smooth motion here. Um, comes with two eyepieces, uh, the 30 millimeter wide angle and a nine, there we go, nine millimeter plossal. Now you notice that two accessory trays here. Well, it doesn't come with two accessories, but OpticSmart, who's the exclusive dealer of that, they have what's called the Tweaker's Dream Package. And that is a really good value for some extra accessories that um, most Opsonian users, I think, pretty much find uh, very, very helpful. Part of that is the extra accessory tray down there. You see that you get another three two-inch eyepieces let me refocus that here, sorry about that. There we go. Another three two inch eyepieces and two inch and a quarters. Really you can take out you know, pretty much your whole variety of eyepieces now on the single base. Well what else is included with the Tweaker's Dream Package? Let me go to the business end here. And let's take a note of probably my my main uh, favorite part here, which is going to be the velvet interior. This goes all the way down the optical tube here. Very professionally done, very nice, and that's to improve the overall optical quality, you know, the, uh, the um, contrast and the light scatter in the scope. It's really there to reduce that. A lot of Dobsonian users really like that feature. Again, this is part of the Tweaker's Dream Package. Also included here are these wonderful collimation knobs. You don't have to worry about having a screwdriver here, boom, falling down, hitting that gorgeous mirror. No, 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 no. You got the, uh, the knobs here that you can go ahead and adjust. Also, and you can't really tell here, but they also include very smooth milk jug um, adjustments or, or, or bearings. They call it milk jug. They literally call it milk jug bearings. If you do any type of Google searches out there, you'll find that a lot of amateurs have done that to make this smooth adjustment of the secondary much easier for you, uh, much easier for you to use. So last but certainly not least, you got this rubber hand control or hand knob here on the front. It just makes gripping the scope and moving it around a little bit easier rather than putting your hands in the base or in the lip here. You gotta go ahead and have a nice rubberized grub. 
uh, grip here. So you got that, you got the wonderful velvet all the way down the optical tube there, the very smooth washers in the secondary, and the knobs here. Plus, you get an extra accessory tray. All that factory installed, ready to roll with you for the Apertura AD12. Uh, it's a it's a fantastic scope. A um, lot of light gathering capability. Uh, it is very big, so just keep that in consideration. Uh, those of you that do have some larger eyepieces, you may find balancing, even though this altitude bearing here is great to use, you may find the necessity to go ahead and add some weight to the tail end of the of the scope just when you're using those heavier eyepieces there. Um, but just keep that in mind. Other than that, that is the Aperture AD12. For my full review, please go ahead to at theeyepiece.com and read my full review on the Aperture AD12 from OpticSmart. Okay, one thing I wanted to show you too here is notice how the scope is pointed completely vertical or outside it would be towards the zenith. Look at how effortlessly I'm able to turn this. Completely effortlessly. Now don't worry, you can adjust that the clutch down there too. That contrasted, this is my six by the way, Orion. And I, in order to move it at really any success at Zenith, I'm gonna have to do this. And you know, definitely much more effort. Now if I get higher towards my Zenith, I'm actually, Times lifting that scope off the ground, by the way. If I was pointed straight up, well, there'd be no way. I, I just absolutely cannot turn the scope. It has to be at a very minimum, about like this angle, to, uh, to twist and find objects. So, definitely much harder. Uh, you'll find, see, see, notice that how I, it actually bumped up. Now, the Orions are great scopes. I wish they incorporated, however, this base system in this uh, Apertura because uh, it's really effortless motion and uh, you can go ahead and tweak it even further down to where you're uh, more comfortable with it and that it doesn't spin around on you too much. So that is the Apertura 8012 video review.